Are you in need of a new spinning reel that's not going to break the bank? Can be a budget-friendly workhorse for you? Then I might just have the reel for you today. Today, I'm going to take at the Titan II spinning reel from Runkle. And I'm going to give you my thoughts on whether or not it's worth the $50 price tag. Runkle reached out to me, offered to send me a reel to give my thoughts and first impressions and give it kind of a review. So I'm going to check that out today. Uh, they provide this reel. We're going to open it up and take a look at it. First of all, pretty good kind of cool packaging. Uh, I like the branding. I like the kind of like honey badger looking little Runkle dude. So that's pretty cool. Uh, what comes in the box? You get a little felt bag, just kind of black, nothing special. A little bit of a, a Runkle logo on there. So if you want to store your reel in a bag and protect it, that's a nice option. Uh, we got the reel, which we'll look at here a little bit more. Otherwise, it comes with a little card. Just a little branding. You get a schematic sheet and breakdown for those who like to tear into reels and see what they're all about. And then if you're a sticker guy, you get a little Runkle decal to throw on a tackle box or something like that. So first impression out of the box, this is a pretty cool looking reel. I love the black and red accent. It's a good looking reel. It's definitely a substantial heavy, I mean, a definitely a heavy duty reel. You can see, you can feel the substantialness of the reel in hand. This reel routinely sells on both the Runkle website and Amazon for about $50. Now, along with this, Runkle did provide a discount code for 15% off that will be down in the description below. I'll have links both to the Runkle website and Amazon, as well as any links to any other reels or rods I compare and use to demonstrate this reel in the video. But one thing I wanted to do, because you won't likely find this Runkle reel in any brick and mortar stores where you're going to go and buy reels. They're almost exclusively online only. So I want to compare it to a couple of common reels that I use a lot and that you can find at places like Omnia and your local fishing stores. That should help you make a more informed decision and a comparative decision. So you probably won't be able to get your hands on one before you order it. And then you can decide for yourself whether it'll be worth the 50 bucks to you. The two reels I'm going to look at are the Daiwa Revro 3000 that I have on hand and a Daiwa Fuego 4000 that I use all the time. Use it all the time. It's my main rod for skipping Senkos, Generals, Wacky Rigs, and things like that under docks and paired with my favorite Dobbin 703 Fury spinning rod. More on that to come. The first thing we're going to do is let's take a look at the size comparison on the ground on all three of these reels. So here's a quick size comparison. Here we have the Runkle 4000. Versus the 4000 Fuego, the Runkle is quite a bit bigger, more substantial in size. Uh, and then here is the Revels 3000, which is only a tiny bit smaller than the Fuego 3000. Now, 2000, 3000, 4000, those are relative sizes. There's no standard in the real industry. And even from year to year and model to model, you'll see some changes in sizes in reels. But just to give you perspective, if you've ever looked at any of these, like a Fuego or Revros in these sizes on a shelf, the Titan Runkle will be a slightly larger, more substantial reel in the 4000 side than the 4000 Fuego or the 3000 Revos. So both the Revros and the Fuego are built on the Daiwa lighter, tougher concept, which these are composite frame reels with machined aluminum handles. So that's going to compare differently than the full metal frame and full metal handle of the Runkle Titan II. That reflects in the weight quite a bit. The Rivros comes in at nearly 8 ounces flat without any line on it, new out of the box. The Fuego is 8.3 ounces and change with a full spool of braid. So a size 3,000 reel at 8 ounces, a size 4,000 reel at 8.3 ounces. The Runko came in at 11.5 ounces, a little over 3 ounces heavier than both of the Daiwa competitors, but that is largely due probably to the, the size of it as well as the full metal frame. It actually is listed as 12.6 12 ounces on their website so it actually comes in almost a full a, comes out of just over an ounce a full ounce lighter than on the website but still a very substantial heavy duty reel the dial reverse comes in at fifty dollars so it's a direct price comparison you can get this in a three thousand four thousand both these reels come in a wide range of sizes um, and you can pick whatever size you want 
The Daiwa Rebros boasts a four ball bearing system plus one in the handle, 5.1 to one gear ratio, takes in 31.6 inches of line, and has a 22 pound drag system, which for most of the applications that I use has been enough and I've had no issues. I've not used this particular 3000 reel, but I've used the 1000 reel a lot for panfish, small bass on ultralight rods and things like that. The Daiwa Fuego comes with a six ball bearing plus one, 5 2 to 1 gear ratio, 32 and a half inches of line per revolution taken in, and a 26.4 pound drag. So, just to step up a few pounds heavier than the Revels, but I use this all the time for bass fishing. I've never found a need for anything more than that, fishing around largemouth, around docks and smallies and things like that. The Runkle boasts nine ball bearings plus one with a 5 to 1 1 gear ratio. 33.4 inches of line on intake on every revolution of the reel, and a whopping 44-pound drag. Now, I don't have a good way to test that right now, but I'm not sure there's any need <laughs> for 44-pound drags for any kind of fishing I do. But maybe if you're into cat fishing, things like that, bank fishing on the rivers, and you might be hooking into some, some you know large fish like catfish, suckers, and carp, and things like that, that could be a nice feature for you. Each one of these reels has a slightly different sound uh, drag system, so the Revros first. Probably the quietest of the three, the Fuego, which is kind of a very consistent. That's what I hear a lot. You hear this in my videos quite often. And then probably the loudest is the Runkle. Uh, so if you like that loud reel, if you like to set it loose, let fish pull line, and you want to be able to hear that as an audible indicator that you're getting fish, that could be a good option. One thing that was really cool on the Titan is this little band in here that makes it a braid-ready spool. So when you tie to that, you don't have to worry about braid slipping. Another really important asset for me of any kind of reel setup, whether it's a spinning reel or big caster, is how it balances on the rods that I already have. So now let's jump over and take a look on how they balance on my favorite spinning rod that I use most for these type reels. One really important aspect of reel and rod selection and pairing is balance and how it will work on a rod setup. So here I've got my Daiwa Fuego 4000 with my Dobbins Fury 703, which is my favorite rod for fishing weightless Senkos, Generals, things like that, wacky rigs around docks and shallow cover. So this is a rod I'm very familiar with and very comfortable with. And the balance point is right here uh, with this reel, right where the little DR on the Dobbins logo is. And that's how I hold a spinning rod with my front finger there. So this is a very natural balance point for me. Uh, so now let's see how that compares against the Revros and the Runkle Titan. All right, here we are with the Revros 3000. Balance point is essentially the same, which is not surprising because they weight almost identical on the scale. So not much weight distribution, just not much difference. Feels very comfortable in hand uh, with this similar sized reel and weight. Even though the reel is a little smaller, it's a similar weight, similar balance point. Here we have the Runkle Titan 2 now on the rod. And I would say the balance point has shifted ever so slightly back with the heavier, but not noticeably different. Still pretty comfortable. Not a big deal. Even though the reel is like three ounces heavier, it doesn't considerably change the balance point because of the larger size of the reel. It still has a nearly similar center mass. Overall, all these reels feel reasonably smooth. I always think the Rev Rolls for $50 really hits above its weight. It's a pretty smooth reel. The Andar Reverse is very solid. Um, you can see, you can let that reel go and it does carry on for a decent amount of time uh, right out of the box. I've never actually fished this reel. The reel that I'm most familiar with and have the most time behind and I don't know, seat time on the rod is the Fuego. Also a very smooth reel. The Android Verse is solid and it probably goes the longest when you give it a spin than any of the other three reels. But it's at a $100 price point. The Runkle also feels pretty smooth. There may be just a ever just, I don't know, fractional little bit of give on the back. It's not maybe infinite, but it's maybe like 99.7% infinite anti reverse. And it's reasonably smooth and feels pretty good in hand. All three of the reels have the option to back reel with the switch on the reel. The Runkle has a nice positive engage on the bale. It's a pretty large bale. So if you like to manually do like I do, it's maybe nice to have a decent size bale like that and it's a pretty robust so if you're hard on your gear and you bang it around this one should hold up pretty good the reel on this has kind of a little 
high density foam EVA type grip. It's pretty small. It's fine. There's nothing bad about it. I do prefer the feel and the grip of these slightly larger T paddles on the Daiwa reels. They're just a little more comfortable in my hand. So depending on what you like, that's just something to consider, but you can always swap out reels and handles. The Fuego also has a pretty satisfying, but like slightly smaller bail spring. And then on the 3000 Rebels, same shape and design, but a slightly smaller handle. And, you know, a pretty good engage. If you're the kind of person that likes to reel when you engage, there's a little bit The Runkle definitely has a really loud snap if you're going to engage it with the handle. One thing interesting to note about the, the Runkle is it has this really open design on the spool. So if you're in a place where you're fishing this in the sand or the dirt, that just might be something to wear of it. This is going to be in the ground or on the ground. There could be a chance you're going to get some debris in there. As you can kind of see me right through the spool. Rebels also has a similar design but they're not nearly as big a cutouts. And then there's just some really small cutouts uh, that are much more minimalistic on the Fuego. If you need a reel that's really built like a tank, heavy duty, all metal frame at that $50 price point, this Runkle could be a solid option for you. My plan is to donate this reel to a local veteran group and help somebody else and have the enjoyment of getting out in the water and catching some fish. So that's gonna be my plan for this reel because I think it's a solid reel and it's gonna help somebody catch a lot of good fish. Due to the seasonal constraints, we weren't able to get out on the water this and do any casting, any catching any fish, and really putting it to the test with the drag on the water. Of casting, catching some fish, and healing the drag squeal of some fish? Then go over and check out this video right here from Burley Fishing, where he takes this reel on the water in his own comparison and reel battle in this video. And if you want to see more gear comparisons, tackle rods, and reviews from me, watch this playlist right down here.